Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Orc Survival Evolved. Or like we like to call it, Pooping Evolved. <laughs> Look at this sign that Drax made. This is the best flag I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you all are having an awesome day. Listen, thank y'all so much for the support on episode 1 and 2. I know a couple people were confused about the episode numbers. I apologize. I made the thumbnails without thinking of what the whole plan was. I'm just going to start off at episode 1, even though episode 1 was kind of like episode 0. Because it didn't have much content up it, except for us derping around. But anyway, to get back to the main story, there's a lot of things that have been going on. So I'm going to give y'all a little little base tour. I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but this is this is a huge wall that Slip, Maz, and Drax built yesterday around a whole dino encampment. Now, all the dinos that you see here, aside from a couple of them, are kind of like community dinos. So I had tamed a couple of Dodecurus yesterday that I named Pumpweight. They're like community Dodecurus. Um, the <laughs> the trike that you that um, that you saw TDC and I uh, tame is actually dead now, but they've since tamed some community trikes. A couple people tamed some other stuff, like I think Drax, is ra Drax got a raptor, um, Maz got maybe a raptor, and judging by the name of Fastface, that sounds like somebody Maz would name. Uh, Pamela, I think Maz named that one too. Border Patrol was something I tamed. Uh, he's gonna be a community dino, but he's basically like, look, something's attacking the base and we need some help. That's where Border Patrol comes in. We don't have saddles or anything like that. And Bruno is uh, a Giganto that um, that Corrales tamed, I believe. And I don't know who Cindy's for. And then Fly Guy, that's for Maz as well. So, yeah, a lot of Potomus. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So a lot of dinos have been tamed, but I really don't have any personal dinos yet, and I, I need a hunting buddy, guys. So that's what I'm going to go for today. I uh, I took the liberty of making myself a, a primitive crossbow. I can show you all the inside of the base, by the way. Uh, a little bit of upgrades have been done. We've already got a smithy and a forge online with a few beds. Up here is like the sleeping area, so we don't have to walk over bodies when we're trying to get work done. Uh, even though there are still a few bodies down here, like uh, I think spum wax down here. I gotta eat a few berries too. Still kind of living on berry diet. I'm so used to the uh, the survival of the fittest berry mechanics, guys. I'm, <laughs> it just doesn't bother me at all. We played an, an event with uh, a super today and it was awesome. Also, I got a couple of um, mortar and pestles. We got a couple mortar and pestles set up. So I used the smithy. I went and get a little bit of metal and I ended up forming. Uh, or I ended up making a crossbow. Because I want to be able to tame a flyer if I can. Like an Argentavis would be great, but I'd be okay with a saber tooth. Something really small and mobile. Let me uh, let me go ahead and change gamma back to normal. There we go. What was that? Oh, that was when you do you can tap twice for that. Okay. And Drax painted the doors brown, which looked really really cool. They look like they're stained or varnished. Anyway, I'm not taking a hunting buddy with me. My hope is Slip had built me this awesome little. Um, one of the spy glasses and I lost it. <laughs> I died and my it was weird like I was taming the two Dota Cures. Oh, that's another flag that Drax made. Look at that Z. Oh, they erased it maybe? Oh no, that's the second flag. This is the first one. Look at that Z that Drax <laughs> That's so cool. Anyway, I want to go out the other side today because what I think I want to do is go up the mountain and see if I can get some crystal maybe. Although I might take a flyer to do that. It would be easier for tames like that, but I really want to knock down an Argentava, something that can just fly around with me, give me some weight, even though I don't have a saddle with me. I'd be okay with a saber tooth as well. I'm not ready for a mount yet because I've been playing around with this movement speed thing. Now, one of the things that bothered me so much about Orc Survival Evolved is when you're running around on a mount and another one of your dinos gets caught up in its legs and stuff, you can't move. And even though the saddle thing is cool, I still want rideable mounts. I thought movement speed would be something great. I've been experimenting with a little bit in Survival of the Fittest, and it's awesome. And right now, guys, no dinos can catch me. I can outrun a Rex. I really can. With 167% movement speed. Yesterday, I, uh, now, Drax was mounted on a... Um, was on a raptor and I ran away from it like it could not catch me so it's pretty darn fast uh, I need to get my bearings here let's see I'm in between the two towers that is what tower let me go gamma zero so I could see okay that's the red and that is the green so I'm between green and red I need to remember how to get back I lose my bearings so easy nowadays and I just do gamma zero because it darkens everything up and allows me to see what colors the towers are all right 
So let's hunt for something. I'm hoping that I find. Ooh, hello. Are you a Bronto that got downed? What killed you? Probably a Rex that killed you. Uh, if I see something pretty good, is anything on it? Let me check its inventory right quick. Uh oh, I'm glitched. Help! Help! Oh man, don't tell me I'm gonna have to break this thing up. I am. I glitched in the dino. And now I'm going to have to break it down just to get out of it. That's kind of weird. I was hoping to keep it just in case there was some prime meat or something that I get on it. But it doesn't look like I was going to get it anyway. Oh, uh, Lord. Uh, without uh, a pet, by the way, prime meat is going to be something that's kind of difficult to get. Because stegos are probably one of the only things that I can get. should probably just did hide. Okay, it's gone. And I'm out. Yes, I'm free. Okay, there was a lot of stuff. What's my weight looking like here? Uh, 84 out of 140? Yeah, I think I'm okay. All right. Let's look around for something good. I need to hide this bloom quality and light shafts. Just so it's a little bit more pleasant on the eyes for you guys. And I don't think I'm going to go to the mountain. Actually, I could go toward the mountain because that'll be guaranteed Argentavas. I know they spawn around here sometimes on the hill too, or maybe they drift out here. I'm not real sure how that works, but I have to be careful. That looks like, what is that, a Corno or is that a Rex? <laughs> that is a Corno, okay? We should be safe. The biggest, my biggest concern are Alphas and Rexes, naturally. If something gets a hold of me and breaks my leg, I'm still really, really low in health, so I have to see it in order to get away from it. Uh, there's a dealo. That's not bad. I guess I'll get up between these Brontos and stuff and see if I find any Argentavas or Sabretooths. That would probably be the best thing. Uh, I'm going to go around here. Try to stay out of sight of anything that's real aggressive and just get a few cheap shots in on an Argentavas. That's what would be great. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. Because uh, they're relatively easy to knock down. My crossbow's not anything special it's just a stock crossbow but it won't be bad all right there are some metal bits which it's an attractive thing but oh lord here we go freaking hands thankfully i had more than one spear i should probably make another one too what do i need to make another one pike would be nice but i haven't gotten there yet uh let's see i need just a little bit of wood which shouldn't be bad let me finish off with these ants. Uh, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to use the axe now. Hmm. I really hate using the axe because, like, the range on it seems limited. Alright. Well, you don't necessarily have to make contact with them for, them to, for it to go away. All right, die. Please. Sheesh. Okay. Oh, there's a Giganto over there. Now, that would be really cool as well. I don't know. How's my Magic Berry situation looking? Poor. Only 22. All right. Well, I would also like to see what level it would be before I would get into it. But this is a dangerous place to tame something and run around, too. I think I still want to go with my original plan unless this is like a, a really, really high level one. Let's get close to it and see. Oh no. More ants, seriously? Oh man, I hate him. I really do. I don't know if I'm hitting him or not. Okay, it looks like. Jeez. <laughs> I hate these things, man. Alright, I got one of them. So wish I had my pike. Okay, the threat is over. I got so turned around during all this mess, I don't even know which way I was going. Uh, I think I was going this way. Uh, all right, so let's see about making my other spear. I gotta get some wood. All right, I'll make two of them just in case. And again, I'm using the alt and the hotkey to craft. All right, now that I got that, that's pretty good. Okay. It actually probably wouldn't hurt for me to get a few more berries either since I'm kind of hungry. So I'll do that on the way while trying to keep an eye out for dangers and anything I can tame. Okay, there's an Argentavis. 
No, I don't want stone. I need berries, man. Berries, berries, berries. Um, I still didn't check out this Giganto either. But that Argentavis is kind of where it's at right now. We get a few things to eat here. What level is this guy? I'll go check right quick. I have to, right? He is level 32. Yeah. Not 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 want to mess with. He's nice and he'd be without a saddle, but like I said, mounts are not something that I'm really focused on right now. Um okay. So the plan should be to grab a few more berries and go for the ah no no no. I'm just trying to get a bite to eat, yellow. What level is this guy? 60? It's gonna take forever to kill him. This is why I need a hunting buddy, ladies and gentlemen. Ouch. Okay. I know, I know. You hungry. It's cold up here, that's why. Oh no. Again? What level is this one? 40. This shouldn't take that much time. I feel like I've just been running in circles trying to kill things this whole episode. And it's supposed to be a taming episode. I don't know, we'll see. I'd rather not make cuts just to show y'all what kind of struggle it is. <laughs> because it is really a struggle at the beginning. And I feel like after a little while, I know how to play this game pretty well now. So, I'm doing pretty good at surviving, I think. Okay, we really need... Oh, what did I do here? Uh-oh. I just whistled all kind of stuff. Alright, I seriously need more berries. Alright, can I just eat now? Alright, I think that's pretty good. I'm only at half health still, but let's go try to find that Argentavis wherever it went. Okay, there's a Stego that I could get prime meat from. There's a Corno that I can get prime meat from if it's not too high level. I need to be really, really careful right here. This Corno can definitely kill me. <laughs> Let's get on top of this rock and see what I can do. Can I get up here? Okay. I'm up. It's attacking the Argentavis. Okay. What kind of arrows do I have? I'm gonna just start shooting there, you guys. Oh, wait. Why am I on? Uh, what? 41. I'm such a noob. Okay, I hate to waste Trank Arrows, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get this Argentavis for sure, but I would rather knock these guys out or kill them. I don't have any Stone Arrows. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to Trank them at all. Although, that thing's looking pretty rough. Both of them are. Okay, sneak up. Did it kill him or did it knock him out? Okay, he's knocked out, but he's only level 8. Not interested. Let's get a few stone arrows, a couple berries that's going to help us food-wise. And I think what I'm going to do is just kill this thing. I'm just going to kill him. That way we don't really have to worry about him him coming back to haunt us. And as soon as he's dead, we're going to leave him here. Because if we do find an origin of us, we want to be able to grab the prime off of it. I guess his axe might be kind of balance out. I don't know which one does more damage a pick or an axe. Alright, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Okay. So I could come back to these for prime meat. That's what I'm hoping for. Was that something flying over there? Yeah. Way up, though. So the deeper I get up this hole, the worse. Like, it's it gets pretty ridiculous. And man, like, the berry situation is becoming a real thing. I really am going to need to get food soon. Okay. I don't want to pass out. I have a feeling I should lure a bird back. And then I'll worry about berries. Let's see here. Try to get a little bit of berries right quick just so I don't lose much, like, lose much food or lose much tor torpor. There we go. Alright, now I can at least last for a little while. 
Okay, birdie. We need, to, we need to take one of these down. That's a prettier color. I think I might go for that one instead. I gotta be really, really careful on my surroundings here, because if a saber tooth comes out of nowhere, I'm gonna have to bolt. All right. I gotta try to keep an idea where I am too for that prime meat. Okay, let's try to Hail Mary one. Did I get it? <laughs> what a shot! Okay. That's the second one. It's down. It's down. Oh man, what level? What level are you? I don't even notice. This is a level 16. I don't know. There's another one over here. Let me go see what I can do here with Prime. If I do get a couple Primes and I could speed tame it, I'm definitely just going to go for it. Uh, let's work our way down the mountain a little bit. I hope I don't lose track of anything. I shouldn't. Where was that corno and stuff? That's what I got to find. It looks like... Did I just see some... Oh, wait. Shoot, that's an alpha. An alpha corno. Okay. That's not good. Um... <laughs> not good at all. No prime meat. Okay. Ah. We gotta get these now. Okay, I got a little bit of prime there. Good. And I'll do this one as well. Okay, that's two prime. Okay, that's three prime altogether. I gotta throw away this stone and this wood. I'm just gonna drop this too. Where is. There we go. Alright. I'm not trying to get stone. Give me the berries. Stupid game. <laughs> oh, I wish you could set filters for this stuff. Alright. This prime is like decaying on me quickly. Alright. We are looking for the tames that we had a while ago, which were, or the, the bird that we had a while ago. I don't know if this is too far up, but I think I'm good right here. Okay, where is the bird? There it is. All right, as long as nothing come and gets us, gets us we should be okay, guys. Oh, did you eat? You did, huh? Oh, that was pretty good. That's about 20%, about four more bites. I think we probably gonna need some more prime. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna put regular meat on it. And I would love to get another one down just to try to compare the levels or whatever. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is, I think I'm just gonna grab a little bit of berries as I wait and try to keep my food up seems like a logical thing to do. Maybe I'll get a specimen X seed. That would be pretty cool to start off. Very unlikely because I'm not going to target them specifically. If I get them, I get them. I can easily bring a dino up here and get a lot more. Okay, there's a bird that's pretty close too. Now the advantage of this is if it's something that we don't really want to tame, we can harvest it for more prime meat as the other ones spoil. So that's what we'll try. I wonder if I'm lucky enough to get another Hail Mary shot. Maybe if I can get close enough to my other one. Oh, it did it go down right there? Can I not go up? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's a little bit too steep right there. Ah, oh, come on, baby. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up. No. No fall damage, please. <laughs> please, no. Ah, I'm going to stop trying to go around right here. Path of least resistance is usually safer, but I can't get up anywhere right here. It's like impossible. Okay, let's try one more thing. I don't want to get myself stuck either. Okay, fine. It does not look like I can get up. Let's go around this way further. Where'd you go, honey? 
right there. Uh huh. No. Maybe a little bit closer. No, don't duck behind the mountain. Come on, come on out. Ah, I can't go this far away from my bird. I don't want to take the chance. I really don't. Dang it. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come out of there. Maybe a lucky shot. Dude. <laughs> Did it land or something? I'm using trank arrows for it too. That's just too far. I'm taking too many chances and wasting too many arrows while I'm out here just in case. Let's go check on our bird. Okay, that is a mammoth. We don't need to worry about him. 50% tame. And we've got two minutes left on the food. Alright, we need to eat some more berries. Keep that food up. It's really a shame that those birds didn't come into range. I'm considering going a little bit further up the mountain. Man, it's hard to tell what to do here. Okay. I'm just going to do it. I'm tired of farting around. Where? Where's the nearest birds? Hmm. Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one. I don't want it coming by my team either. Okay. Let me go back. Oh, that's around where that alpha was too, huh? I need to be really careful, guys. Really careful. If that alpha comes around, mission abort, you know? Did I get it? I think I did. Uh-huh. Oh, I did hit it. One, two, three, four. I killed it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, I even waited just to make sure. Well, this is some prime meat ready to harvest. Any inventory on it? Yeah, a couple of arrows. That never hurt anybody. A couple berries. We need that for the food. And it looks like I'll take this pick because I'll need one sooner or later. Still no ramshackle slingshot. Look at that. Didn't I say I would need one one of them picks? Thank you. We'll replace you. No problem. We weren't attached. Uh-huh. Give me some prime, baby. You know you want to. <laughs> Come to daddy. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Back to the bird. I don't know what we're gonna call it. It's our first bird. Oh wait, where did it go? Is it a little further up? Maybe? Yeah, by the other mammoth. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Prime, prime, prime. Did it eat any regular meat yet? I don't think so. This is about the best tame that we can get for it, I think. One more bite, too. 99.4 taming effectiveness. So it's only level 16, but it's going to get 7 levels when it tames out. So that'll be... Um... 24? 23? Very good. We'll take it. Uh, what's its, uh... Let's see, what am I going to level here? I think I'm going to go after health just for a little bit. At least raise it to, like, 150. And let's see. Okay, Mammoth, that's enough. That's enough making noise. Uh, let's see. It looks like its carry weight is 378, which is really good. That's going to be a good hunting buddy stat. Stamina 900. That's very low, but we're not going to be using it for a mouth. Health is really low, too. We're going to have to raise up his health. Um, melee damage is only 115. Ah, there we go. What can I call this guy? Uh, first of all, is it a male or a female? We got to get you some food, buddy. Let's get you fed. Raise that health up again. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a good bird. <laughs> All right. 
So, let's look at this guy. Black, he's got some, like, copper wings. Um, hmm. We, I don't know what to call him. He's dark, he's a really, really pretty bird, too. I think, let's see. Let's just call him Copper right now. Change name. And I'll think of something as we go. Nice. Okay. Come on, Copper. You ready to go? Let's get down here. Okay, so we need to get back closer to the beginning. Let's take a look at the towers. We need to get to where I can see both of those towers. This might be... And i am got to take a look out for... That freaking, uh, that, that, that alpha. Another thing is we need to whistle passive just in case we need to run. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer to where I can see. This is dangerous places. I don't want to get caught in any of this. Alright. It doesn't look like the alpha is anywhere around anymore. But this, this drop off is steep, man. This is going to hurt if I go down it. Let's go to the side here. I think this will be a little bit more pleasant. Yeah, perfect. Alright. Let's get our bearings and get on the way. Attacking some dillos and stuff and getting a few levels probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see what it's made of here. Whistle attack my target. Get him, baby. Get him, copper. <laughs> no, copper doesn't have a good enough ring to it. Okay. What can we name him? I'm trying to think. We had Amberhawk before. Hmm. It's really cool. It's like his wings are almost orange. Let's get him to attack this dealer right here. I love that attack this target ability. Okay, and we have to go through between the two towers, so we are heading the right way here. Are you hitting it? Maybe it can't hit it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh, I see that raptor too. Does it see me is the question. Alright. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. How you doing? Hold on. Let's look at your health. How you doing? Took about you took some damage off of that. Let's give you some meat. There you go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's check this raptor. Might as well get a little bit more meat too. Okay, very good. Alright, we, it looks like we're in the clear. I don't know how we avoided that alpha, but maybe it was on the other side or something, I don't know. But I know right over this hill, like this is the, this is the small hill, or the small mountain I should say, right by home base. There's Corrales. And it looks like we should just be able to get up here. I'm gonna have to level this bird up a little bit. I wish it would have been a little higher level, but you know how that goes, guys. You get what you can when you can. Um, let's see. Let's go to where I can actually see. That's another thing. You don't need to worry about the birds getting hung up. So, that's one thing that inhibits movement speed. Um, Anklo Egg? Watch this. Whistle passive. 
Bye. Bye. <laughs> there's the there's the there's the um the alpha. Did you guys see it? Oh no 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 no. I'm glad I whistled my bird on passive too. Okay. I need to eat and drink a little bit. Oh, what am I doing? Pressing stuff. Whew. Alright, the raptor did not follow. Oh man. I don't know what level it was, but that's <laughs> safe. Safe at base. Awesome. <laughs> I can't believe we got through it. I'm gonna get some of this too. Very, very cool. Well, there's Miola, and Miola and I are supposed to do some recording here, so that is going to be it for the episode, you guys. We got our little hunting buddy named Copper. Maybe some name suggestions from you guys would be awesome. I would love to hear what y'all think. It's just an introductory bird. He's going to be a little hunting buddy, but he's definitely going to be a good pet from now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If y'all did, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then you can subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.